What is going on YouTube? Level Zero Gaming here and today we are talking about an amazing game called Hunt Showdown. This game has been out for a while now, but if you're like me, you either have never heard of it or heard about it and shrugged it off. I was the same. And then I decided to give it a shot. And damn, was that a good choice. Now don't get me wrong, this game is stressful, can be frustrating, but when you succeed or win a fight, there's no other feeling like it. To me, this game to an extent reminds me of Escape from Tarkov. However, the gunplay is tighter in Tarkov, and to me Tarkov is a lot more for the hardcore gamer, where this seems a little bit less hardcore, unless you're playing solo, but we'll get into that later. Anyways, let's get into the reasons why you should be playing Hunt Showdown. So first, let's talk about how the game works. You choose a hunter, make a loadout for the hunter, and then go into a match. Once inside, the goal is to use your dark sight and head towards clues. Collect three clues, and then you head to a boss and kill the boss. Once you've killed the boss, then you have to banish it. Now, once you start banishing, everyone is going to know where you are, as the banishment lets everyone in the game know that the boss is being banished. So, start the banishment and set yourself up to defend. There, there's traps, explosives, all sorts of stuff. Just be prepared. Once the banishment is complete, the boss will drop two different bounties. You can only grab one. Now once you have picked up the bounty, anyone who uses dark sight can now see where you're at because carrying a bounty emits a like a lightning bolt over your head when someone is viewing in dark sight. From here, all you have to do is head to an extraction point and survive for 30 seconds. Now this is just a basic rundown of how the game works, this isn't meant to be a guide, just an overview of how the game works, the gameplay, and the reasons you should or should not play it. Now at the time of making this video, once you hit broad rank 11, some things change. For instance, when you die, your hunter permanently dies. But don't let that scare you. You can easily buy another hunter, or pick up the free basic one that the game gives you. There are two sets of levels in this game, your blood rank and your hunter level. Hunters can be a max level of 50, and blood, blood rank goes to 100, but then you can start going into the prestige levels, and that's a whole other ballpark. So when you hit level 25 on your hunter, you get a choice to retire that hunter or keep playing with it. And when you do this, you earn 100 XP for every level your hunter has gained towards your blood rank. So if you're level 25 and you decide to retire, your hunter will gain 2500 XP towards your blood rank. Now you don't have to retire, but remember, once they die, they're permanently dead, and you'll have to get another hunter and start at level 1 again. However, your blood rank never starts over. Uh, you can think of the blood rank as your account level. The absolute best reason to play this game, for me at least, is the sound design. And they have built the game around it. Run past some crows, enemies across the map can hear it. Shoot your gun, enemies can hear it. Knife an enemy and they hit the ground, other players in a close proximity can hear it. The way they record and set up their audio in this game is bar none the best I have ever seen. It is super pinpoint accurate for the most part and I do recommend playing this game with a set of stereo headphones to get the full effect. Once you play this game and stick with it for a little bit, you won't be able to go back and play other games except for maybe Escape from Tarkov if you enjoy that game because the sound is also pretty good in that game aside from a few glitches it's had over the years. From what I have experienced and seen in this game is that you need to be stealthy but quick and deadly at the same time. If you go in just sprinting everywhere you will get killed. I repeat you will get killed. You have to know when to run, when to be sneaky, when it's okay to make noise, and if you encounter another player, you need to be ready. Which leads me into the PvP aspect. The gunfights in this game are not like other shooters. You're using older weapons that take forever to reload, only hold so many bullets, they are slow, so every shot needs to count. The guns are quite balanced in this game, from new player all the way up to experience somebody playing this game for a long time, they're all fairly balanced. 
the key to winning PvP fights is going to be the element of surprise and your positioning. Positioning is the absolute most key element to winning. A player who can outmaneuver and flank their enemy will 9 times out of 10 always win. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see some more content on Hunt Showdown. Take care.